What is going on everybody? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video of Adam Finance. I'm your host, Adam, obviously. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a very highly requested video. What career field do industrial engineers go into? Basically what I'm saying is what specialty do they go into? So if that interests you, stay tuned. Obviously the question of what career field do industrial engineers go into, they're obviously going into the field of engineering, industrial engineering, uh, but a lot of people specialize in different topics. So for me, I would love to focus on data analytics. The reason I wanna focus on data analytics is because I think that by 2022 and further on, like 2022, 2023, 2024, I think data analytics and engineering sales is going to be a huge market, a very lucrative business uh, for anyone who studied industrial engineering or topics alike. The three main topics that people go into who studied industrial engineering are data analytics, data engineering, and investment banking. And you would think that the third one is not true, but a lot of industrial engineers are so good with data and data optimization and process improvement that these investment banking firms want to hire them because they see all these numbers in a different way that other people who did not study industrial engineering might think. So these specialties all have different requirements. For me, at, the, at Arizona State University, I'm gonna pursue a data analytics, not a degree and not a minor, but it's gonna be a certificate. So I take a couple classes here at ASU and I'll get certified in data analytics. It just shows uh, one extra step that, okay, this guy can do it. It makes you stand out from the rest of the people. Obviously, if it costs a little bit of extra money, you have to factor in, okay, is that money worth it? Uh, is my time worth it? Or should I just go take a job and then progress forward? For me, I think that the certificate of like less than $500, I think it's around $350, $400, I think in the long run it's going to be worth it. If my salary increases by 10, 15, 20% because I have that certificate, I think that makes me way, way more valuable than someone who doesn't have it, per se. Everything you do as an industrial engineer should make you want to think further ahead. You shouldn't be thinking about what you want to do right now. You should be thinking about what you want to do in two to three to four to five plus years, 10 years. And do I really want to be here being an industrial engineer in a warehouse all my time? Or do I want to be in a work in a uh, in an office building doing data analytics, data analysis, uh, basically just looking at data all day and figuring out how to optimize their system? So you really have to ask yourself those questions. Again, there's not really a great answer as to what industrial engineers specialize in. That's just something that I've read about. I've seen other industrial engineers study and how they've transformed into different fields of uh, practice. But like I said, there's many different ways you can go about this. I mean, I could be an industrial engineer and want to focus in mechanical engineering. Uh, by that, I mean I want to focus on how to improve the, the uh, layout of the mechanical engineers so that their life is a little bit easier. So your specialty kind of depends on what you really want to do. There's not really one thing that you are set to do. For me, I think that I want to go to data analytics. I want to try it maybe this summer of 2022, have an internship. And if I like it, maybe that's what I'll do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. I love making these videos for you guys. I'm going to be pumping out a lot more content. Um, I know I've been off for a couple weeks, like a month, but school has been picking up. However, now I'm uh, trying to focus on this a little bit more. So, like I said, comment down below if you have any questions or want to see another video. I've got a lot of knowledge about industrial engineering and mechanical engineering. I have a lot of internships, so I'm happy to help you guys. If you guys liked it, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!